Hey guys, I'm Hoshka, and welcome to part one of my beginner's guide to Halo 5 speedrunning. This series is intended to point you in the right direction if you find yourself interested in learning the run. This is primarily targeted towards easy runners, which most of the routing will consist of, but I'll share some legendary tricks from time to time just in case you've thought about trying or are generally curious. So let's get started with the game's first mission, Osiris. Upon gaining movement control, thrust backwards to pick up the pommel of a depleted energy sword. The sword will allow for a 10% movement boost. From there, continue forward while bearing right. You want to be sure to swing here to pick up the splinter grenades as well as trade up your pistol for a suppressor, both of which will be helpful in the fight to come. Once you break through the ice wall, there will be an anti-air turret off the edge of the cliff that's essential for the first skip. There are two methods to do the launch, but both serve the same purpose. You can jump at the white stone, lining yourself up with a line in the cliff, or you can run off the cliff at the second patch of weeds. In either case, you want to be aiming for the tip of the turret, as being too far left will kill you. Once launched, you want to ground pound in the general area of the snow-covered rock. Once atop the Forerunner building, you need to enter the back of the structure and press the button to continue. There are two general landings that you'll get which enter the structure differently. With the high landing, you can run off the back of the structure, stabilize, and turn around to thrust back in. Don't be afraid to ground pound if need be. With the lower landing, you want to get to the right edge. Once there, sprint along it, hugging the left side until you reach the back. From there, you can jump and thrust into the back to reach the button. Once the button is pressed, wait for the loading icon. Clamber here, turn right, jump, and thrust to get out of the room. If this isn't done in a timely manner, the next area will load and you'll be trapped inside. Now, continue normally until you reach the top of the cliff. At the door, four Promethean soldiers will spawn. Killing these four soldiers will allow the door to open for the next area. It's best to use both of your splinter grenades as they're spawning, then hit them with suppressor fire. If they drop splinter grenades, it's wise to pick them up as they'll be helpful in the final fight. For Legendary, this section's quite different. First, we'll take a look at the faster route. After jumping up the cliff, you want to take the right path. Make sure to snag the splinter grenades from this cache and continue. It's best to delay the checkpoint until you get here for practice. Now, head towards this back corner and wait for the turret to fire. When you see the bottom green line of the leg about even with the platform, you want to sprint, jump, thrust, and hold crouch towards the tip of the turret. If done correctly, you should get a high launch where a thrust can correct you to where you need to go. See, this one missed, but don't get discouraged. Even the best legendary runners consider this one of the hardest tricks in the game. So once again, same as last time, and this one was in our favor. You want to ground pound on top of this hallway. Now all you want to do is get back and bounce. There's a difference of re-entry from patch to unpatched. I run patch, so I'll show you the easiest way back in. Once landing, you want to head for the back of the hallway and drop down. Now, head forward and clamber over this point and drop into this space. Turn around and circle the ramp to trigger the load zone. Don't walk too far back or else you'll be taken out by a kill barrier. For a simpler yet slower method, once you press the button to get back into the map, be sure to grab these splinter grenades. I will say that even though this is the easier launch, the path to the turret is more difficult. You want to beeline up the hill as you would on easy. Once you pass this soldier, break right and follow this path. Try to avoid the fire from the spawning soldier and crawlers. Get to this bank and climb this ledge. Trade your sword for the binary if you wish and wait for a checkpoint. Now all you have to do is clamber on this edge, jump to this one, and walk up the fin. When the turret goes to fire, jump and stabilize until it gets a little bit of momentum drop down and you should be flung to where you need to go. See, this was an odd launch for me, but it shows what could possibly happen. Ideally, you want this scenario. Once launched, it's the same as before. Just ground pound the top of the hallway and enter like we did last time. Alright, 
Back to easy. Once in this room, trade out your sword for a light rifle and wedge yourself in the right corner of the doorway to open the door faster. The final room is just a matter of clearing out enemies. Five knights total spawn along with crawlers, a few elites, and a handful of grunts. Once the final enemy is dead, wait behind these barricades for Buck to say his dialogue, then sprint to the top. Waiting for the dialogue actually triggers the level to end faster once you make it to the doors. For a little more in-depth insight, BatChat has a couple great tutorials that I'll link in the description below. Once again, I'm Hoshka, and hope to see you back for part two, where we dive into the mission known as Blue Team.